Hi guys, it's Andy from the Postpartum Closet here, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Dagny Dover Andra Crossbody. This is the medium in the color Oxblood. Uh, this is a genuine leather bag, and it is a um, <clears throat> more like a purse than it is a travel bag. It is a crossbody style with uh, button adjustments. Um, I got mine in, I'm about 5'3", uh, medium to large size, and for me, the settings that it came on were fine, so I didn't switch mine out, but um, I had it packed just for um, an evening out uh, without my daughter, and um, I actually quite liked it. Um, the color is Oxblood, which I thought would be more red, but this is actually more neutral than I thought it would be, and I was pleasantly surprised by that. Um, so I'm going to just show you uh, what I've got in here. Um, another thing that surprised me was that it is bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a smaller crossbody, but um, let me just show you my phone uh, for comparison. This is a standard iPhone 8, and it is about that size in, in comparison to the rest of the bag. So it is a fair bit bigger, at least than I thought it was, and I didn't really pay much attention to the dimensions online, but... With that said, it meant that it held a lot more than I thought it would. So while I was using this bag, and I'm just kind of going to quickly go through how I use this bag and where I stored uh, my items and what I stored in it, and um, maybe you'll find that helpful. So without further ado, I'll show you right now. Um, so there is um, the main bag. It looks like this. It's just a flap that lifts up. And there is a slip pocket on the back. And I like to have quick access to my phone. Um, it's mostly in my hand, um, I'd say 90% of the time. So I just keep my phone back here. And my phone has a case on it and a pop socket and it fit back there and there was lots more room. I'm sure if you had a bigger phone it would fit there as well. So I kept mine tucked away back there and the inside of the bag looks like this. So there are two major compartments. The front compartment is the narrower of the two and what I had in there is just my uh, backup battery pack and I've got that stored in a Jujube small set piece and in there I just have my uh, portable charger and the cable to charge my phone and the cable to charge the actual charger. Um, and I don't know if this exact one is still available but I can link a similar one if anybody is interested. Um, and that tucked away there and did not add any additional bulk to the bag, as you can see. Just like that. Um, the other thing I had down in here is uh, a pen. And the reason that I kept it down there and not in the pen loops, if you're familiar with this bag, is because I found that the pen loops were shallower than I thought they would be. So if I switch over here to the main compartment of the bag, you'll see that I have uh, two lip products in here. Um, one of them being a lipstick and the other one being a uh, lip uh, liquid lipstick. And there are, I hope you can see that, two pen slots. But let me just take out my pen and I'll show you. When I've got my pen in there, I felt like it stuck up a little too high than I would have liked for it to. I don't know if you can see that, but it's sticking up above the bag, so it would have prevented me from closing it um, all the way. So I just kind of threw it down at the bottom of the front section. And um, my liquid lipstick fit in there with no issues. And the lipstick, of course, of course, which is shorter, fit in there with no problem. Um, other things going on in this bigger compartment. I have a small card wallet that I keep in there. Um, holds my cards and a small amount of cash, but I'm not really a big wallet person, so that works just fine for me. Um, there is a key leash, and I had my keys attached to that. Um, I don't have them with me right now. They're actually hanging up on a hook. But they were there, and it was actually quite helpful to know that while I was digging around in my bag, it wouldn't, uh, my keys wouldn't fall out. Um, and down at the bottom, because I was going to be out without my car, I just had a small uh, little umbrella, and that fit down in there. This is a pretty small umbrella. Again, here's my phone for reference. Not a big umbrella, but it fit down there and didn't add any additional bulk or anything like that to the bag. So that was down there, and um, the two lip products that I showed you earlier. Some breath strips or gum is what I would typically also have at the bottom. And then there's another small pocket 
inside the main compartment of the bag and I didn't have anything stored in there. And in addition to that, there is a zippered pocket back here. And uh, I just had a couple of business cards stored away back there. <coughs> Excuse me. There are also uh, two little card slips in the front of the bag and this would be good for having quick access to your ID or your bank card or uh, if you're traveling by public transit, maybe a metro card or something like that um, for quick access. Um, and there are, in case you are interested, little hooks like that to keep the crossbody strap attached to the bag and they are um, kind of a brushed gold. Um, it's not really a light gold. It's it's your standard colored gold, but it's not shiny. It looks like it's got something that's made it a little more matte than your typical gold. But uh, all in all, I'd say I actually really enjoyed the bag. I was pleasantly surprised by the size. I know that um, some people have commented that it was actually too big for them. Um, but for me and what I carried, I like having a little bit of extra room to throw some extra stuff in there without feeling too cramped. And I like the way it fit my body. It was comfortable. I wore it all night and it wasn't extremely heavy. So all in all, for me, it was a winner. Um, if you have any questions, please do leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, if you are interested in picking up a Dagny Dover bag for yourself, I've got a referral link down below that'll save you 10%. Um, if you do like this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.